Hi there. In this short topic video, we're going to be exploring the analysis of how negative externalities can lead to a market failure in the allocation of resources. Negative externalities occur when production and or consumption causes external or spillover costs on third parties who lie outside of the immediate market transaction for which no appropriate compensation is paid. And we can make a distinction between production externalities, for example, pollution from factories and from farming, and consumption externalities associated with the consumption of goods and services, for example, household waste and noise pollution. Externalities create spillover costs. So how do we show this diagrammatically? What's the analysis for seeing how this leads to market failure? Well, the key thing is to make a distinction between the private costs and benefits to the individual consumer and producer and the social costs and benefits to society as a whole. Social cost is private cost plus external cost. Now in this diagram, P1, Q1 is a free market optimum, if you like a private optimum, where the marginal private cost of consumption, or production in this case, is being equated to the marginal private benefit. However, if there are negative externalities, then the marginal social cost curve lies above the marginal private cost curve because we're adding in some external costs. Notice in my diagram that if the marginal social cost pivots away from MPC, then we're assuming that the marginal external cost of the extra output is getting bigger. And I think this is a realistic assumption to make, particularly if you think about the concentrations of particles in the atmosphere and the external costs from increasing congestion, for example. The key now is that marginal social cost lies above private cost, the difference between the two curves, the vertical line there, is the external cost associated with producing output Q1. Now, if the market does not take into account the externalities, this can lead to market failure. Ideally, what we'd like is to have a different output, Q2, which is less than Q1. So in the absence of intervention, the free market will tend to over-provide or over-consume goods and services where there are negative externalities. P2, Q2 takes into account the negative externalities and therefore that's a social optimum level of output. The equilibrium de delivered by the free market is at Q1. That's allocatively inefficient. We're not making best use of our scarce resources because of the externalities. And uh, we assume in this case there's no externalities from consumption. So the social optimum is at P2, Q2, where we take into account the externalities. Now that's the standard diagram. Uh, the top students also talk about the deadweight loss of welfare as a result of market failure. So the green triangle is the area of what's called social welfare loss, because Q1, the market output supplied, is higher than Q2, the social optimum. And if you go beyond Q2, let me bring my mouse over at this point, Beyond Q2, the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal private benefit. So we're losing some welfare as shown by that green shaded area. This has been a quick revision video on negative externalities and how they can lead to market failure. Check out our other topic videos for revision sessions on the policy interventions that might bring about a correction of the market failure.